Oh hi everybody, here I am again. Uh, you know, it's a really, really, really winter day here. And uh, as you see, my panels are stuck in the snow, two of them, and the others, 300 watts over here, they are working properly and uh, they are cleared. And now in such a, in such a kind of day, is it's very cloudy it's pretty cloudy but I still have around around 82 watts from an MPPT AP ever tracer A and it's doing a really great job I have this device for more than four months and uh, it was working perfect in the winter and uh, it's doing like I said it's doing a really great job uh, now I have the voltage there and uh, uh, as you may see it keeps the panel the panels because they are all uh, connected in parallel for now at 18.38 uh, volts 75 watts now and 4.1 amps turns to be like 4.6 amps to the battery point 0.7 uh, I have I have a load of 2.1 uh, amps constantly because this uh, uh, this solar charger and the battery is um, a supply for a uh, uh, a camera surveillance uh, installation and uh, one modem and two routers so the total uh, battery for now is 26 watts in the daytime and it turns to 35-36 watts in the nighttime because I have a couple of uh, LED LED lights outside the house so here we go this uh, this is my AP EP Ever Tracer A 40 amps uh, connected to uh, around 450 watts that goes to 100 amp hour battery uh, it's a maintenance free battery and uh, I also have a kind of uh, maintainer I did it myself it's a 12 volt maintainer connected connected to to a, a laptop adapter 15 volts um, 5 amps or something to Shiba and that keeps the battery for under discharge uh, it's working only if the if the voltage drops to 12.1 volts that happens when it's a really really cloudy day but like I said uh, this solar charge M MPPT charger for, uh, from, from AP Ever is doing a really really great job uh, now I have 18 volts in the panels uh, 19 volts and turns to 4.6 amps uh, <clears throat> now depends 4 amps anyway for this month I have 15 kilowatts, uh, so in 22, 21 days uh, it gained f uh, 15 kilowatts. Uh, the battery gets charged with 3.8 amps. The temperature in the battery it's 8 degrees because I have a I have a a, a temperature sensor in the battery. And uh, there goes further, you know, all the connections uh, to the outside world. Like I said, uh, I have a couple of cameras and a couple of routers and a modem. And down here, I have a DC to DC converter. It turns to 19 volts uh, for uh, having a laptop with the software on almost all the time but the, the interesting point is that even in a cloudy day 
in the in a really winter day with uh, minus five six outside I still have 88 watts at, uh, at this hour it's uh, almost one o'clock in the afternoon so, uh, somehow it's the middle of the day like I said before it's a really great machine uh, this one have 40 amps and it's working as it should be and um, in in a really sunny day uh, I I really easy get like 25 amps charging the batteries but you know the point is that uh, sometimes depend of the load of the battery so uh, you know the power in uh, supply the power out somehow I don't have more than uh, one kilowatt consumption daily so sometimes uh, sometimes I'm surprised that even if I have enough power in the panels it's not charging more than uh, as much as it was the consumption for that day uh, thank you for now and uh, I really recommend this kind of uh, machine at least mine have more than four months now and uh, uh, I bought it in uh, uh, in uh, November I think or October end of October uh, 2017 and uh, I may say it's working like a dream there is no problem with this kind of machine uh, maybe I was lucky okay thank you for now